friends in this session we will learn how to create a service entry sheet and post a service entry sheet or save a service entry sheet so i have a data here we already have a purchase order here so we need to create a service entry sheet for this below data po number 4500 by the short text in the uh, in the PO is printer service and maintenance. Account assignment category is cost center K. External number of service entry sheet is OM underscore one double zero one. And in the services perform, we have to use service number one double zero three zero one, which is already there in the PO. And the quantity that is the time taken by the vendor to perform the service that is the do the service and maintenance of the printer is thirty two hours. The cost center is four two two zero. JL amount is four one seven triple zero. Now, to create a service entry sheet, the path is logistics, material management, service entry sheet, maintain ML81N is the transaction code. Let me go to the SAP and uh, let us go to ML81N. So, here you need to go to logistics, material management, service entry sheet, here ML81N. Okay, go to this double click here or you can put the transaction code ML81N and go. So, as soon as you go to ML81N, you will get this screen. So, what you need to do? First, you need to click this for other purchase order so that you can enter the PO number. What is the PO number? The PO number is 4001786. So, I just copy this PO number and put in this box. Put the PO number and continue. Okay, now the PO number is already there. Now, we need to Create entry sheet for this purchase order. Just next is second second point job is click this create entry sheet. Okay, now we need to input the short text. Just what is the short text? Printer service and maintenance. This is our short text. Okay, then external number. External number is some. It is this. This is coming from the vendors uh, document that is he has sent for the service he has performed q om underscore one zero zero one account is indicated cash center no need to put it because it has copied from the purchase order four five triple zero one seven eight six five cash center okay now press the enter okay now put the service number what is the service number one zero zero three zero one so even we can go to the po number triple zero one seven eight six by and in the services tab we can see that uh, this service number okay that was there in the purchase order one double zero three zero one which is also here same okay put the service number one double zero three zero one in the service entry sheet one double zero three zero one what is the quantity quantity is 32 hours just put it and enter yeah no need to put the price because the price will be copied from the service conditions which you have already maintained. If you have not maintained the uh, service conditions, then we have we have to put it manually when creating the PO that will be copied to the service entry sheet from the purchase order. Okay. So in the purchase order, I will show you that one here. In the services tab page, in the service line, in the this line here for this service, already that is price will be maintained in the purchase order. Okay, so that will be copied to the service entry sheet. Only we have to put the quantity, how many hours, okay, the vendor has worked. So we need only to put the number of hours that is the vendor has uh, taken to complete the service job. That is for printer maintenance. Okay, now after this one, everything, then we need to put cost center GL account, cost center GL account, okay. That will be copied from the purchase order. See, cost center is here, 4220. And uh, if we scroll to the right, okay, so okay, cost center is fine. So the GL account everything will be copied. Then, after inputting all this one, what we can do, just press enter, okay. Now, click the accept button. Now, this will be, status will be yellow, will be accepted. Okay. That means, after you click the uh, green flag, accept it, this will become yellow. So, this will be, I mean, here the status will be accepted. Now, 
if you click the save button as soon as you save the service entry sheet then this status will become yellow to green this will become green and then the status of the service entry sheet is accepted okay i will save this one save Yeah, now the status has become green and accepted. Now the status of this service entry sheet is accepted. Now what is the service entry sheet? This is the service entry sheet number created by the system 1403054. Okay, now you will also get the message service entry sheet saved acceptance document 500 ending with 810 post date. That means this is a material document for the service entry sheet. Okay, now this material document as well as the service entry sheet both will be updated in the purchase order history okay now we will note on this service entry sheet number as well as the i will copy this one as well as this service uh, material document what is the service entry sheet number i will just copy that one 3054 and what is the material document 500 ending with 810 ending with 810 okay service entry served document document posted okay now Display the material document and service entry sheet in purchase order history. We can go to MA23 and display and see that one. See the acceptance document for the service entry sheet as well as the service entry sheet. Okay, now let me go to the purchase order 450 by Let me go to this same. I have opened this purchase order here. So now before accepting the service entry sheet, that is POS sheet tab page was not there. Now after accepting it, that will come here in the item details. The purchase order history tab will come here. Now just click this display change. Click it again. Click it in display mode. Now go to the item detail. And yeah, now we can see the purchase order history tab has appeared in the item details of the purchase order. Just click on this one. You will be able to see the material document for the service entry sheet as well as the service entry sheet number. Just click on this one. This is the material document for the service entry sheet. 5000 ending with 810. Now we can see the accounting document for this material document for services. Just click on the FI documents. Okay, now it will open the, yeah, this one document 500 ending with 19. This is the accounting document for the material document for the service entry sheet. Yeah, this is the GL accounts to which the amount is posted. Now go back 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 and this is the service entry sheet number which we have just now posted 10140 okay so like this so this is how to create a service entry sheet for any service purchase order and also accept the service entry sheet thank you for watching my video please give me your valuable comments likes and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notification of my upcoming videos on other scenarios and topics in mm as well as exercises on mm